Let's create an event. Create a new event by clicking on an empty space on your calendar and then entering the information like the title, the time, and which calendar to add it on if applicable. You can change the type of event here, so from a meeting to a reminder if you use those, or an appointment slot. I will just create an event now. If you want to add guests or other information, click on more options and you'll see the full event editor. Now in the new event editor, you're actually able to add rich text descriptions. So you can add things like bulleted or numbered lists. You can add attachments with the pay-per-click icon and find something from Google Drive or upload a new file. You can use formatting like bold, italics, even add links right into your description. You can add guests just like before and rooms. And once you've got guests, you have the suggested times function that looks at guests' calendars if you have access to see them for availability. And you can also use find a time just like before. Find a time's near the top left. And when you click on that, if you have access to see your guests' and rooms' calendars, you'll see what time everyone is available. If you choose save, you'll see a new prompt that lets you either not send an invitation, but save the event, send the invitation and save the event, or cancel changes to go back to the editor. And if I choose to save it, it will send that invitation out. Another way you can create an event is through the red plus button in the bottom right hand corner. Click this to go right into the event editor.